Well, the new Odyssey Aquarium will open next month along the Loop 101 in Scottsdale. You can see it when you drive up the 101. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz is live with our first look inside the aquarium. Well, lucky you. Yeah, I like that. It's a construction zone, so we got to be safe. All of us, even photographer BK over here wearing the hard hats, safety glasses, the whole nine yards. But take a look at these. This is a ton, this one back here, a ton of salt. Imagine this. I think he said 200,000. I'm going to make sure that that's right. 200,000 tons of salt going to be needed to get this whole place up and running, get ready for all of these uh, sea creatures here. So Dave, uh, what was it? Was it 200 tons you were telling me? To open an uh, Odyssey Aquarium initially, we'll actually go through 200 tons of this salt. Amazing. And how many to do the shark tank? Just the shark tank alone, or the shark exhibit alone, we use 44. And our salt is made up of about 25 different components to mimic the ocean's makeup. Unbelievable. So yeah. you're the director of animal care here. When are the animals going to be coming? Well, we're going to start bringing our animals in in phases as our exhibits get uh, prepared. So right now what we're doing is we're, we're getting all the uh, rock work completed, we're getting our salt installed, and then we're starting to grow our biological, which is what we're showing right now. So explain this to me. What's this box about? Okay. This is what we call our Brentwood Media, or it basically is what, if you... Uh, compared to a radiator in a car, what you want is surface area. So if you look at this, what we need for our animals to thrive is bacteria to grow to help with the filtration process. This gives a place for bacteria to live. So it's basically a hotel for trillions of bacteria. And you're trying to mimic sea water is what you're trying to do here. And the whole filtration process that goes on with our with our waters in the world. So the tower you see here is about 12 feet deep and is full of these Brentwood media that our bacteria attach to and it helps with our filtration process. How about that? So they all grow in here and then what, you transfer this water out? Is that how that works? This water will be part of their exhibit and it filters through and uh, one of the things being in the desert, water conservation is very important, especially with us at Odyssey Aquarium. This enables us to reuse our water over and over again when we are able to filter, uh, filter it correctly. So who are we trying to keep alive here? What animals? are we going to be able to see? Uh, this exhibit actually is for our sharks. So we're going to have uh, about 15 different species of sharks. And this is just one of our filtration uh, units. And this is going to be the largest aquarium in the Southwest. Why do you think Arizona? Oh, Arizona is, uh, can't wait for us. We, we've had so much uh, people come up to us and talk to us about it. And this has been something talked about for years. So we definitely are getting it right. We want to open the right way. And this is part of the process of getting ready for our animals. Dave, okay, thank you so much. This is so exciting. Wait, how many workers do you have out here right now? Oh, there's got to be hundreds of construction yeah. workers here. And you've been working for like a little over a year, a year and a half-ish? Uh, yeah, yeah, to get this ready. And, and now we're in the final stages, so we're just tightening up everything, getting everything done, and we're, we're getting ready to open. Thanks for giving us this behind-the-scenes look. Thank we're you, the first cameras to be here. So exciting. So if you're wondering, when can I come and see all these animals for myself? Well, we're not sure yet. We're thinking late uh, summer, possibly early fall. We'll keep you posted, though. They're coming soon. In a couple weeks, all those animals, a couple months or weeks? Weeks? <laughs> months? Nail it down, Liz. Soon. Real okay. soon, everyone. <laughs> it's real soon. And I thought I had it bad uh, moving in the 25-pound uh, bags of Morton salts with a water softener. Right? You know Every I mean? time. Yeah. I usually get a text when I'm on my way out of the grocery store, and Chris says, we need salt for the soft water thing. I'm and like, why do they always keep them up past after you check out, and then you guys, oh, you know. I, I forgot go, about the salt. Yeah. yeah, and then you got to load it on. I 